Hey guys, all right, I have a special request. Let's get rid of that background music. So I'm deafen you guys. It's kind of nice, but it's a bit too loud. Let me just get rid of that for you guys. All righty, uh, I had a special request on how to do the F10 script. What is an F10 script? Let me explain for you guys so you can see what goes on. It pretty well works like this. Whenever you're inside of uh, Terrain Builder, um, you might be looking at a map and then you decide to go into Bulldozer and you might want to view it like I'm doing exactly here. And we can see that when I look around, uh, sometimes we get a fog and after a period of time, we may even get rain. So this one is a shout out to Ski who asked me how to do it. And I figured, look, if I do these little micro tutorials and they help people out, it helps the whole community out. So there we go. I thought I'd do this one really quick. So I got little grandma. She's sitting there silently waiting for me. So here we go. Um, I'm not going to go too much on about my map, but um, this is Rosebud. What we want to do is make it appear better when I'm inside. I like to see further. I'm going to press the magical key, which is F10. And ta-da, suddenly we have a clear view and a scope of things we didn't normally have inside a bulldozer. It's very, very simple to do this in case you guys overlooked it. Um, it's a simple script and you can keep altering this uh, even while bulldozers open. Let me demonstrate. So I'm going to tab out and get into the page so you guys can see it. Inside of the uh, bistudio.com, there is a page with a script. I'll leave this link here for you guys. It's pretty simple. All you want to do is you'll notice there's a bulldozer script here. You want to copy this entire thing from top to bottom, but don't take that category bit at the bottom because that won't work too well. Copy that. Top part is basically uh, reference material to tell you what each line does. And the bottom one is the actual activated code. The next thing you need to do is you need to put this inside uh, of a folder on your computer. And that particular folder will be on your P drive. Make sure you have your P drive mounted, guys. It's most important. And you'll notice there is a scripts folder down the bottom there. Okay. So if you double click on that, now you will not have this most likely in there. It'll be called bulldozer.c. So for the sake of argument, I'm going to, like old school, call that BAK, which means backup. So let's pretend that didn't exist. Let's go in and what we're going to create now is a new uh, text file. And we're going to call this one bulldozer. Uh, remember, you have to do bulldozer with one L, so don't mistake in that. And then put a um, C at the end of it. Delete the text, press enter. It will ask you, do you want to change it? If your system's set up, it should automatically recognize that. If not, you can just go into there and open with and choose which program you want to open with. I do recommend Notepad++. And you will simply paste the information straight into there. Now, it's going to come with a bunch of settings here, which were your view distance, uh, your object view distance, your aperture. Now, your aperture is going to affect how bright or how dark it is. So we're going to leave them stock for the moment. We're going to save that for you guys. So that is saved. And we'll ignore my take a break thing, which tells me every hour. And you guys should have that if you're on a computer all the time. Look for a program like I've got, which tells you to take a break. So you can get up and stretch your legs. Right. So now we have, let's ignore the old one. There is my new bulldozer.c. If I open it up, we can see everything is in there. How does it work? Really simple. We're going to go back into here. And we're going to press F10 and you're going to go, oh, gee, that looks terrible. Correct. It does look horrible. Why does it look horrible? Because the settings aren't set correctly. So let's go back into our text file and uh, we go back into our folder, open up our bulldozer C. And here's the really, really cool thing. You can mess with this. Now, I know I've messed with the aperture size first. 
I know if I go at say 70 and save, you've got to keep saving it and then go back into Bulldozer, press F10. Mm, I like it a bit darker. So I know mine usually looks good at about 90, save, tab back in, press F10. Now that's kind of like, it depends on your screen and, and your eyesight. I kind of like that brightness for myself. Now let's change the view distance. So I'm going to set this thing up, say, to 2,500. And we're going to tab back and press F10. And we can see we're seeing further. Now, we can really go crazy on this and put in 3,500 if we wanted to. And press F10. And we can see now we're seeing a lot more, and I'm quite high up on my map. So it's giving me a good distance. If you really want to go the absolute nanas on this one, you know, try bigger numbers. Try five, one, two, three, save it, tab back in your game, F10. And we can start to see that my distance for view is way, way better than it normally is. So for you guys, it's pretty simple. Now you can toy with the object distance and that will determine, say for example, those trees. If I move back here, we can see the trees disappear. That's normal because we're quite high up. So if I change that object distance and put that up around 2600 and save it and tab across and press the F10, bingo, more objects further away. Pros and cons. Uh, on some systems, it may slow it down. Look, I'm running not a top, top end GPU. Uh, it's reasonably good, but it's not a $2,000 job or anything else like that. And look, it seems to be fine. I don't often really have many crashes, so it's pretty good. Let's have a look at a couple other things. Your weather. Now, this is going to set the rain, the fog, and everything else. If you do go up here, you notice it gives you an explanation on different settings. So I usually leave mine like these, and I find setting it this way generally gives me very clear weather. Now, the cool thing is, if you've got a date that you want to set it to, depending on the season and all that, you can actually set that. And let's just try this for fun. 1988, um, that'll do. What a great year. Um, if you guys were born in 88, yeah. congratulations, what a good year. Press F10, doesn't do much. Weather seems pretty much the same. Might not have saved it. Did I save it? Ooh, let's try it again. F10, doesn't change much, but you can change it according to the months and everything else. So... That was a uh, quick little example of how you can use the F10 script. To recap, you will need to go to the link, which I will provide. Uh, this is being streamed live, but I will edit this and drop it onto DZ Academy. It's a little short one. There it is right up the top. You can simply search in Google for um, Daisy Bulldozer, and I'll show you so you guys can see. Day C. Daisy, <laughs> Daisy, bulldozer, hit search, and usually it's the top one that comes up. And when you bring up that page, scroll down, here's all your controls, and there's your script. And you just simply copy that script, and you will put it once again into the P drive in the scripts folder. Create a text file called bulldozer with one L dot C and simply paste it in there and tweak it to your heart's delight. So, I hope that, guy, uh, that guys, that helped you out. That was just a quick little fun tutorial to demonstrate what can be done inside of, um, inside of DayZ and using Bulldozer. And um, yeah, that's a special shout out to Ski. I hope you enjoyed this little micro tutorial. And uh, guys, thanks for joining me. And um, please uh, subscribe, join, if you can support me for a cup of coffee, because uh, I'm running low and I'm drinking tea right now. I'd appreciate it. But apart from that, stay tuned. I'm going to keep doing these micro ones, editing and putting them up. And thank you for joining me. And guys, you all take care. And as I always say, don't forget, have a great day, Z. Bye for now.